So guys, on this episode, we're gonna dig into this old abandoned 1977 Toyota pickup truck. Now this was one of those purchases that was completely sight unseen. We found this truck on Marketplace and thought we just couldn't live without it. Uh, with its unique look of having the six wheels rather than just the four, it seemed like it was right up our alley. Bought the truck super cheap at 400 bucks and that's including delivery. So once he brought it down, we were able to lay eyes on it a little deeper. She's quite the turd. So we're just gonna dig in this thing together, see what we can find out about it. Hopefully we can get this thing up and running again and maybe at least make it around the block. We bought a lot of stuff sight unseen, but this one right here showing up the way it did sure <laughs> makes you leery of the next one. Yeah, I didn't know anything could get this rusty. And Look at it, I mean, even in the pillars, the whole thing is just, you think it'd been in water or something? Good grief. <laughs> Got a cool little vent over here on the door. Air conditioning. Oh. Pans are shot in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you need those in the door if you got the floor like it is. You crawl through the door or through the floor to get in. <laughs> and then back here, this is just a tag along axle, it looks like. You know what I mean? It doesn't even have a third member, so they're not connected. It's just the drive shaft of that one. I'm glad we got this to keep the rear end on the ground, though. It's got to be fast. It's got to be fast. And a row bar. That you just cut sheet metal out to make it fit. <laughs> I don't even know why they cut it out. It probably rusted out. Let's see what it looks like up underneath here. I feel like I need gloves. There's just one single layer of sheet metal. There's not even a reinforcement up underneath there. Wow. Actually not too bad under the hood though. There's where all the value of the truck is. I guess so. It's like three inches off the ground. Does it even have oh, springs yeah. on the front? Man, it's got a little bit of suspension. Looks like everything's there though, don't it? Yeah. It does have oil in it. Headers. Wow, it looks, looks not pretty too bad good. for that just to be sitting up there. Wow, it even has cooling in it. Well, we know it was running at one point in time, but I don't know how far back that was. Right. Running and racing, apparently. <laughs> it did not run the rust. <laughs> I think 77 was a good year for the, for the rust, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, see if we can get it up and going. Might as well. Ought to whistle while it goes down the road if it does much wind as it'll catch in those <laughs> holes. The trick is on this one, it might be easier getting it running than it is to keep the panels on it when you're driving <laughs> yeah. it down the road. Where's the battery even go on this? Um, Fell off? Probably so, with the rest of the panel. It goes back up into the cab there. Oh yeah, there's a box over there. There's a fire extinguisher too. <laughs> That's a good sign. Uh, let's grab a battery and see if anything turns over or smokes. <laughs> Alrighty. Wiring don't look bad though, does it? No, and I did, I don't know what this goes to, but I did accidentally bump that just a second ago, some kind of linkage. To the... I don't know what it goes to, but it's something we may need to look at here in a minute. Is it a standard or? No, it's automatic. Wow, that surprises me. There's a lot of custom to this thing. <laughs> Let's grab a battery and see what it does. Mm -hmm. What's crazy is this is probably one of the newer vehicles we've had on the channel, but as far as condition goes, it's among one of the worst shapes. Uh, I'm pretty sure it could be just the help of the paint and some stickers that's helping hold this truck together. 
Uh, one of those things, just couldn't live without it, its uniqueness. Love the way it's, it's got this dual axle set up back here. Pretty sure these are just some old trailer fenders they've rigged up on there. The truck's been completely slammed. I mean, that front cross member is like three inches off the ground, and we're pretty low back here as well. From what I can tell, this rear axle is pretty much of what I'd call just a tag along. Uh, they've got just a straight axle back here. It doesn't have any kind of third member, no drive shaft ran to it. Uh, I see the leaf springs here running to the front axle. Got some three inch blocks up underneath there to lower it. And then I guess it's just held in place with these swing arms here and, and some shocks. So maybe probably just for looks. I have no idea what they were using this truck for. We did notice back here, it's kind of hard to tell, but in February of 2009, the Lemons best use of a band technology sucker truck. So I guess maybe that was kind of a knockoff funny style race of the Le Mans race, and this was known as a sucker truck. Uh, they took the bed of something and kind of put the sheet metal, maybe this was the original sheet metal in the floor of the bed, and cut it out here and there. I do see that it's got the tank. It appears up underneath here. Some kind of a little, well, look at there. There's our fuel pump that they made an access door to. Not that you couldn't have just pulled the floor off real easy. We noticed they just, if something got in the way of building their roll cage, they just cut it out with whatever and tacked it back in place. Uh, the doors are just completely gutted. I don't even know if these, wow. So the doors actually work. As you can tell, there's nothing left of them. Inside there, pretty impressed with the roll cage though. Actually, actually looks pretty decently built, very solid. We're gonna have to figure out a lot of the wiring in here, <laughs> of what is left of the wiring in here. Kind of funny, all of his windshield stickers are backwards where he can read. Look ahead, 33, temp question mark, oil question mark. Got some little switches over here. That's basically gonna be to our ignition and our start button. Some kind of a shut off right there, maybe. I'm not exactly sure what that runs to. But it is an automatic, so we're not gonna have to worry about any kind of clutch issues. Just gonna have to worry about automatic transmission issues. Love this custom cutout of how the rust is formed on the hood there. Really gives a new name to patina, I guess you would say. Uh, up front here, missing the grill, but we do have our factory buck tooth teeth, it appears. Uh, that's the only thing I can figure that the purpose would be for these. Wooden bumper, which is missing half of it, seeing that it was inside the truck. We do have a radiator, which isn't in bad shape. On the engine, it appears to be the best part of this truck, which is good, because that's our main interest of getting this truck up and running. Um, hopefully it's not locked up. We'll probably go ahead and pull the plugs out of it, get a little lubrication down in it, put the battery back in the battery box. Hopefully she turns over, she'll have a little compression, give it a little gas, and hopefully see this thing crank up. Ooh, these doors are flimsy. <laughs> I feel like they had this cut out for <laughs> maybe up front here. Probably so. <laughs> I like that. Huh? Like that. Yeah, because it's cut out for that. Wow. <laughs> I just added 500 bucks to the value. It did make it look better. Woo wee. This thing had to set in water or something. The floor is gone. I don't even know if a person sits in that chair over there, if it's gonna hold them up. Looks like it took a side post battery. I might just have to vice grip it on there. Can you see this 
I see some wires wiggling. Is that going straight to the starter there, or is that a ground? That goes to the starter. Straight to the starter, huh? Yep. Solenoid? Yep. So that's our hot. I only got, a, got it marked to positive. So we got the ground run up to. Okay. So that's just a emergency cutoff switch for the battery. I don't think that's doing much. I'm glad this thing has nice wheels on it. <laughs> Cause that may have been the best of what we bought off the truck. Well, if, if rust is gold, then we've got a gold mine for sure. That's, yeah. How are those plugs looking? They're, they don't look bad, they're dry. I mean, you can tell they haven't had any, any action yeah, sparked little, to them in a while. A little rusty on that one. I hope this thing ain't locked up. Oh. Sound like they're tight in there too. Well, that's, huh? a, that's the first one that was tight like that. The rest of them have been fairly loose. And the reason it seemed like it was tight was because it broke. Seriously? Yep. Ugh. Just the top of it break off though? Yep. Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just the top, just the porcelain stuff on it. Oh, okay. I thought you meant that the it broke off in the head. No, no, it's it came loose. It just it snapped, I guess, when it, it did it, so no we didn't. Champions. A pretty common plug to find. Probably needs replaced anyways. No sparking. You out of the way for just a second? Yeah. I'm gonna hit this. Fan. Fan the on. turbo. <laughs> well, one thing works, huh? Yeah. Got them all out. Yeah, I think give them a good, good squirt. There's another piece of our custom bumper. Guess I need to try to figure out what it's going to take to turn over. I think they've got this wired in in the center of the dash with just an on off toggle for the ignition right. and push button for the start. which is off and on. Let's say that's off. You want me to try to see if he'll turn over? <laughs> sure. Well, that's a good sign. Well, that's good, huh? Yeah. And check the compression on a couple of them, so sure. see what it is. Yeah, 
guess this thing would have had some clips or something on the outside of it. Hold that filter on. <laughs> Probably rusted away. You know, the frame, though, doesn't look bad. It's mainly just the sheet metal, at least up underneath here. I don't know what it looks like under the cab. I notice we've got four of the six tires are holding there. These two here are flat. Let's see if this gas... Good grief. What kind of funky smell it has. Ooh-wee. Yeah. Pretty raunchy. I don't know if this tank's gonna be usable. Oh yeah. The way that cap is, it's rusted bad on the inside of it. Alrighty. So I guess is this our throttle? Yep. I'm gonna hold that open when I yep. turn it over. Ready? Ready. About 55. Ooh. Try it again. Yeah. Yeah, 55. Yeah. Let's try another one. That ain't too good, huh? No. I wonder if it's got some stuck valves or something. Or if the rings are just shot in it. I'm just glad no one is turning over. I right. can't hear anything that sounds like it's clanking or anything, no, but no, it's no. not turning over very fast. I know with the spoiler on the back of this thing, it's got to have some compression. It's got to have some power and compression. Closer to 90 on that one. About 80 that time. Yeah. I guess we'll just keep moving forward and hope for the best, huh? Get some of these leaves off this starter. I have a feeling we're going to be turning it over quite a bit, and that's probably going to get warm. Well, do we want to check and see if it's getting any fire? Yeah. That, that give, give us a, a little bit closer idea where we're at. Pull that distributor cap off and see what the... Assuming it's got points down in there and it's not a electronic ignition. Could be, though. pretty rough in there. We've got a wire that's been, the coating's gone off of it, which could be allowing it to ground out if, if that's possibly doing that. Well, it looks like points, but it's got like a little plastic cap thing here where you can't really get to it to clean them. Um, got a little flat blade screwdriver. How little you want. That's weird. I've never seen any like that before. The end of the points goes inside of a little plastic cap deal so you can't get in there to actually clean between mm -hmm. them. I bet we're going to have to pull them off where we can see them a little better. Let's just see if it's getting fire first though. Alright.
Ready? I'm ready. Sound like that old battery ain't no count. Wasn't for sure if it would be or not. No fire, huh? Nope. Huh. Let me go ahead and pull them points out of that distributor where we can try to see how they work and get them cleaned up. Okay. Put this battery on the charger. So inside of our distributor here, we obviously have our uh, distributor cap, which has the spark plug wires coming off the top of it. Uh, inside here, there's some little terminals that they'll get corroded up from just setting up. And most of the time, you can take a little sandpaper or a screwdriver and clean the tops of them uh, if you're having trouble with getting a good fire. This is our rotor button that'll actually spin inside this distributor cap, and that's what directs the power through these spark plug wires. Up underneath this, we've got our point system. And at first, when I looked inside here, I saw this little plastic casing, which is keeping me from getting to uh, clean up these points, which if the vehicle sets very long, they're really bad about getting corroded up. But this will actually come right off. I'm thinking maybe it was something to help keep them from getting dirty. But at this point, this truck's been sitting so long, they still need to be cleaned up. So I'll get a little file inside here clean those up when they open and close. We should be able to get a good pop, a good spark out of that. Uh, and that'll send fire down to our spark plugs. And then hopefully we'll move on to the next situation of getting a little gas down there. And hopefully with this truck has enough compression that it'll try to crank up and run on its own. These points were pretty dirty on it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know what this, this thing's really gonna set on in there other than a bunch of rust, but. Yeah, I just put it back towards the back of the cab best I could on that other one. Do you want me to go ahead and hook up the, uh, both wires? Yeah. I think I about got these pretty clean. Should get a little, little fire there. <clears throat> you want to just kind of watch over here before I put that cap back on it. If they're still not uh, sparking there, we may have to check to make sure we're getting juice to our cool there. Right. Because even though it has this ignition switch wired in, it may not be working. Ready? Ready. Do it again? Uh -uh. It was weird how it turned over good. I know it, yes, yeah, what I was. <clears throat> Nothing. I thought it did there once, but then I couldn't see it anymore. Try it one more time, see? No. Nope. Nothing? Nothing. Guess we need to make sure this thing's even in part. No, it wasn't. If that linkage is hooked up. Huh. Let me get something to check to see if we're getting juice down there to the coil. If you want to turn on that ignition switch, or that toggle switch there. Mm 
Getting ready? Uh, no, hang on. Yeah. All right, kick it off. Yeah, we're getting juice. Kick it on. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Might have to just try to flick these points, then. Kick it back on. Yeah, I can too. What is it, that box? I think it is. It could just be the coal itself, you know. Let's check and see if it's getting, put it back together and see if it's sparking at the plug. Didn't spark? Yeah, good spark. It was just popping inside that cool then, but for some reason it wouldn't spark down there. Well, that's good. Try it again just to check. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think we might be good on that then. Guess we need to come up with another spark plug though, don't we? Yeah. I bet we got something laying around here. We're just going ahead and cleaning up these old spark plugs that were in the truck. Uh, found another one around the shop that looks pretty similar. Just going to clean them up the best we can, get them popped back in there. Try dumping a little fuel down the carburetor and see what it does. Do you know what order these plug wires went in, Dad? Uh, oh, number they got one. Numbered there, don't yeah. They? And then they had these here like backwards. This is four, three, and then two. Okay. We probably need to look at the fuel system too. It's got an electric pump there on the firewall, huh? I haven't heard it running. We need to disconnect that though and try to figure that out. Probably should have already done that. Mm. 
I'm gonna pull that line off the carburetor, I guess. Okay. There's gotta be a switch inside there that turns that on or it's just no good. It might bust right off and run. <laughs> Yeah, it's dry. Yep. Yeah, it's dry. Let's just, uh, we want to try to get that working first. And now we've got fuel pumping up here, or just put a little gas down? I think just put a little. See if it even tries, huh? Yeah, because if it ain't, ain't going to try, there's no need in right. pumping gas up here already. I don't know what this little thing is on top there. It almost looks like you would, I don't know. I've never seen one like that on the distributor. Put a little gas in it, see what it does. Here we go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Maybe squirt a little bit more and then I don't know if we flooded it, but oh. could be that it's that low compression too though. Yeah. It's just right there at it and uh do you see a choke? Uh, no, not really. Where would the choke be at on that thing? Right, that's not it. Not sure. <laughs> I'll try it again. I think we're getting real close, but I think it needs a little extra fuel once it gets to that point. Try this when it gets close. What's that noise? I hear something. No, it sounds more like something kind of halfway grinding. Starter? Gotta be the starter. Is it hot? Not really. No. Yep. I think we're just fighting that it ain't got no compression and not really turning over quick enough. Is right. that going in the bowl? Or? Yeah, it should be going in the bowl there. I might try to sit uh, in here and see if that's I That's dumping it straight into the... I probably got it flooded. <laughs> you definitely got it flooded. Oh. Come on. There she goes. Well, it did run. 
fun. <laughs> yeah, but we're losing. We got something that's blowing oh. oil everywhere here. It's got a hole in the block. I don't know. I just seen it. Oil filters right there. Let me get a light real quick. Yeah, it looks like that oil filter rusted out right there. Right? I think that's where it's coming from. Let me dry it off and see, but I think... It's not coming from further back because there's no oil back that way. So I think almost... we've got a bad oil filter, which tells you how long this thing's been setting up. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I was to one side and didn't get it all in the face. <laughs> I can't see it. I said I wasn't looking for anything. I just felt it hit my arm, so and then it died. And I thought, well, this thing you almost have to work on it on your knees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see. It's got a little pinhole in it right there. It's oozing out. Yep, I see it there. I know this is extremely ghetto, but I'm about to put a piece of duct tape on it just to see <laughs> if we can get it to run a little longer. I actually believe with a truck like this, this might be the correct way of fixing <laughs> it. Well, actually worked pretty good. I'm just gonna go around it again, just for the fun of it. I think I just flicked off a big old piece of the fender. It might crank a little easier now that it ran for just a second, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine going in and having <laughs> someone change your oil and them saying that? That's not even a copper top, that's a <laughs> duck top. Here we go. Well, you can check off oil change <laughs> on the to-do list. New filter. Well, try it again, huh? Yep. I forgot to put that little plastic okay. piece back in there, but I don't think that's going to make any difference. She mm -hmm. ran, huh? Yeah. Leaking oil like crazy? Pretty good, yeah. Well, Super. we want to go ahead and change the oil and put a new filter on it. Just for the fun of it. Yeah. We know it'll run. Yeah, because she's free bleeding now, so. At least new filter anyways. And then I think we need to address how come we're not getting fuel pumped up here. Yeah. Which, the way that tank looked, I probably already know the answer. I'm not going to put much gas in here until we know. Right. <laughs> Ooh, wait, it's rusty. Actually, though, it sounds like there's already Guess something it. down in there, but hopefully it's not water. Should be enough to see if it's pumping up, though, what it looks like. I'm going to try to trace that fuel pump down and see what might be the issue on it. All righty. It's that relay. There may be a switch inside here somewhere I've missed. I have as organized as everything is, I would have figured I'd have figured it out. <laughs> Man, 
I'm just not made to get in this thing very well. Especially with the sore back. That oil's kind of milky looking. Is it really? Yep. Yeah. That's not good. I may want to check it again. Pretty bad, huh? It was. Of course, I've. Let me grab that out from underneath there so you can see. Mm, yeah, kind of. I hope it don't have a blown head gasket. Which if it does, that could have been well, also why it, it was a little harder to start. Right. It don't look bad there though. Uh -uh. I mean, it's huh. not terrible. Definitely needs Mate. some, though. Yeah, I don't know if water might have got in through that little pinhole. Oh, maybe. On the, the filter just, there? It's kind of in there. Or just in the filter part? It's, it's not bad in here. I will add a little bit. Obviously, we'll need it All since right. we're replacing that anyways. Yeah. Fuel pump might just need a little smack on it too. Could be, yeah. I guess I'll just see if it's getting any juice. We'll start from there. Yeah, we're getting juice to it. I bet it's just bad pump. Unless it's a bad ground. Could be, yeah. Looks like it's grounded okay. <laughs> Kick that off and pull that fuel pump off the firewall if I can. It's just one of those little cheapy fuel pumps. Anyways. Which I'm surprised, I, I seen that the tank had a fuel pump on it but it may be bad or gone. Right. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna try to, I guess you can turn the key on and I'll try to hit around Give on it. Adjustments. Ignition's on too? Yeah. Nah, it's froze up. I think we're better off just go ahead and replace it. Most time you get them working, they stop working later on when you need it the most anyways. 
and they got it on there tight. Should be a new fuel pump around here somewhere we can put on here. Oh, good. Nah. Cut my arm open. <laughs> good night, America. Ouch. I may have to disconnect it from this metal line down here. And just use that. Well, no. I think that'll fit on that. that hose clamp. Actually that goes onto that so I think it'll fit. I don't think I'm going to get too technical in all this until we figure out how well it all pumps out, you know. <laughs> right. We may have to hook up to a different tank. There's another fuel line. Well, it's right there, yeah. That one there may have to be, it's because it don't really flex much. There we go. I'm just gonna wire it. Well I can't, the battery's too far in there, ain't it? I was gonna say I'm just gonna use this wire here just to hook it straight to the battery. It'll reach. Might do it. Then I can wire it in if everything seems to work okay. Yeah, that'll work because we can ground it wherever. I see a hole, believe it or not. <laughs> right through there. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to run that right through the factory rust hole there. I guess we're going to need something to catch that fuel in. Just when you think of something couldn't be rigged up anymore. <laughs> we come along. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Taking it a while, huh? Mm -hmm. That pump needs to be closer to the tank so it can push rather than pull. Well, I wonder if we got stopped up line or if it's just too far away from the tank. Or a rusted out line. Could be that too, yeah. Is it, can you feel anything? Uh -uh. No. Yeah, it could even have a bad hose back here. You know what I mean? Where it comes back into this tank. Right. Um, let's open up this custom floor they got back here and see, see what they got going on. That line looks pretty dry rotted, but I can unhook it and at least blow through it. Blow it, yep. I guess we wanna if we wanna unhook both ends. I don't know. I'm assuming that's where it pulls from and not just a return. You wanna take it loose up there? Yeah. Okay. We'll kick that air compressor on and try to blow through it. Got it loose? 
I might be able yeah. to just blow through it. Which yeah. I don't know how I was do with that fuel pump though. Well, I'm, I pulled it on the back on side. On the other side, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I think we did it at the exact same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you blow or? Yeah. <laughs> I think we did it at the exact okay. same time. Hang on. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Every bit of that hose stuck to my lips, it feels like. <laughs> I have dirt lipstick on. <laughs> Let's try to hit it with just a little bit more pressure. Okay. You ready? Yep. Oop. Golly, about hit the Vani over there. <laughs> Come through, can you hit it with a little less pressure? <laughs> Coming through just fine. Huh. Well, maybe it was in the, just right at the verge of being stopped up, which is good. Right. I'd rather it be stopped up than rusted out. Sure smell that old gas, so terrible. Try it out, huh? Yep. Hopefully it'll pump something. Which makes me wonder if there ain't something inside that tank, if there's a hose or something inside it that's rotted out from where it picks it up. Could be, yeah. Hmm. Let me try something real quick. I'm just gonna stick that hose down in, down in that gas tank if it's long enough. doesn't look like it is, but I could almost just put it in just anything, huh? A little bottle or something. Yeah, there's that bottle right there if you wanna. Pick it up, maybe? Must be trying to do something. Better, it's just a test. Nothing coming out still, huh? It's about to. Yep. You just took. Dropping the bomb. Boom. Coming out? Yep. Okay. Yep. So I don't think it's picking up though inside this tank. I bet we're gonna have to pull this off the top side of the tank to see what's disconnected in there. But we can see, you know, it might run, now that it has the gas in the line, right. it might be a little easier to get it pumped up there. True. If it's gonna pick it up. As long as we don't have to let that long drop. Right. Boom. I guess we'll, you wanna try to. I don't know if you wanted to hook that hose back up and just try, is that what you're gonna try to do? Or? I can try that, yeah. Since we already got gas up here, maybe it'll see if it stops pumping. Pumping anything? No. Maybe something stopped up down in there and it's not able to get a suction from that end. Maybe. You want to just pull this top off the tank then? I think so.
blow it off because this sure is darting. Looks like it's a stripped out Phillips. that I did have a fuel pump what in the world did it just get <laughs> that was a hose at one point in time yeah yeah that right there is why it ain't look at that oops don't hold it over the gas and do that Lance look at that I got hot or something tired didn't it tired yeah <laughs> wow uh, let's just clean this up and drop a rubber hose right. down in it, you think? I think so. Because we're not using this part of the pump anyways. Yeah. Well, I think it'll work, as long as this is not rusted out. Sucking air, you know. If it is, we'll put the hose up as far as we can. Right. Wow. That's among the worst I've ever seen on a fuel pump. So this is our factory pickup and fuel pump on the truck. And as you guys can tell, it is extremely rusty. One of our rubber hoses here is just completely blown out. So brittle as can be. We were gonna go ahead and just clean it up best we could, hook a rubber hose in it that it kinda extended down lower than the fuel pump where it'd pick up some fuel. But we ran our little scope can down into the gas tank there and it's just in terrible shape. So for this point in time, until we can drop that tank and clean it up, we're just gonna rig up a little temporary fuel tank that pumps up some fresh gas, so hopefully we can hear this truck begin to idle. There we go. Yep. Look clean? Yep, pretty close. I mean, it took a little bit there for- Clean out so, that line. Yeah. I'm just gonna run that fuel pump like that for right now. If you wanna hook that up to the carburetor so we can see what it'll do. I can wire it in later, you know. Right. I hope the float ain't sticking on that, but it has every right to. I think she'll probably idle for us now, getting the right, getting fuel up there to it, not having to babysit it with the, you know, bottle. Right. No gas dumping out. Nowhere yet. Should be able to pump it down. The fuel pump's hooked up. Should be able to just give it gas. Not squirting that it's gas. Not squirting nothing. No. Nope. And we just keep chasing it, don't we? Yep. I wonder if it just hasn't let fuel. If that float stuck, you know. Right. It's just stuck. Have to tear it apart. So we went ahead and tore into this carburetor and tried to clean it up the best we could. Unfortunately, it was pretty dirty and that accelerator pump was just completely shot on it. So we ended up finding a cheapy carburetor on Amazon. It looks pretty close to the carburetor that we have on this truck right now. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install it on the truck, top off the engine with some fresh oil and just see what she does. Just go ahead and turn that fuel pump on. Yeah. See if it fills up that bowl. Yep, I'm hearing Sounds something. Sounds like it. Huh? Yep. Is it squirting? 
Yep. Is it? Sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> Before I flood it too much. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I got a mist to it or something. Yeah, huh? some kind of vacuum leak or mist or something. Uh, I don't know. They, I don't think any of these should. No. Uh, right there. Oh. Yep. Shoot, it stinks. Yeah, that's definitely going to be somewhat of a vacuum leak. I just feel like we've got a dead mess. Which we can start uh, pulling the plug wires off as it's running to see, you know, which cylinder it might be. Right. May have been that plug that broke. Right back one. Could be, could be that plug that we put in it. Yep. Yeah. We got to be careful though. We don't want to have more money in parts than we <laughs> have them buying the truck. Well, we may already be past that. <laughs> she did idle though. I don't know that she's ready for a race yet. It's like it'll just run and die. Yeah, it's like whenever you quit turning it over, it's... I feel like it's either not, it's either not getting the fuel or something on the ignition side is just dying out. Like, right. you know, it's, it's killing it all. Maybe when I let off the starter button for some reason, they've got something. Could be, yeah. I don't know. I held it in longer just to see what it would yeah, do, and it tried to run mm -hmm. longer. I think I think we've got something weird on our ignition system we've got to figure out. So on this old truck, it seemed like we could get it to crank up, uh, but shortly after I would let off the starter button, it would die. We tried to chase some wiring around just to see what the issue might be, and I'm pretty sure we pretty much narrowed it down to being this ignition module, uh, igniter it's called. So on this truck, this is our original one that they had mounted on the firewall. Finding these parts for this truck is almost impossible, so we were able to find this one on eBay, and they're proud of them. I'm not even going to mention what we paid for this uh, setup, but I can let you know right now we're already in it higher in parts than what we paid for the whole truck. So we're just going to bolt this in. I believe this one was just weak and old. Hopefully this one was working, but as you can tell, it's old too. So we're going to get it mounted on there. Hope for the best. Maybe this thing will get the fire we need and begin to finally run. Somehow we're going to have to fish that over to the distributor. Let me go up underneath here. Let's see. Right. I hope this is what it was. If not, we've got a high dollar yeah. paperweight.
This one's a little bit different than the one that was on here, but I'm pretty sure it wires in very similar. I think they said this one come off of a uh, Celica, basically the same year, which would have had the same engine. You think I should just wire this coil into the ignition stuff they have hooked in, or, or try to just run a straight wire to the battery? Uh, I can try it with the ignition, I guess, I first. It would be better if it was. If, if it don't work, then we'll just run a hot wire straight to the battery so we know it's getting the power it needs. Uh, plug in this little condenser. I think the only thing left is the, the wire that runs, the spark plug wire that runs to the distributor. I think that's it. We've got our hot coming in from the switch. Comes off here on the negative side into our igniter. And then the wire comes out of the igniter to the distributor. And then we've also got our wire that runs down to the little condenser down there. Is that tight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. tight. Just a second, I'll double check. Here's a wrench if you want it. I guess we'll hook a battery on it and see what it does now. <laughs> wow. The police be over here for gunshots, huh? Um, our timing must be off. <laughs> Let me hook that fuel pump up and we'll see what it does. I don't know if it'll turn, if it does crank or not, if I got it too tight. Hey, I made it, huh? Wow, wasn't expecting that. Got to wire in this choke. Yeah. I ain't even smoking. Other than the oil that's on the engine. Yeah. Little blow by it looks like maybe. Is it? Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Responds pretty good. Yeah. Smells terrible. It smells terrible, yeah. It's got a little Burmaster dump right here. Oh, that yeah. fan's not hooked up. Uh, Let me see if the throttle, if the pedal works in here. I'll be ready to kill it in case it revs real high. Uh-oh. Oh, I got it wired in direct. <laughs> You'll have to uh, pull that wire. Which one? Pull them both. Look at there. Actually, it runs pretty stinking good. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna have to figure out a new hot wire from our ignition. I say that, let me try it just to see if for some reason, but I think we've got a bad wire. It's not supplying the voltage there to that. I need to hook the fan back up. You can pull that off to see if it's circulating, if it happens to crank.
guess not. So maybe the ignition is working. Oh, it ran out of fuel because I didn't hook the fuel pump back up. Yeah, it's cool. Well, do we want to get, what's the oil look like? I know it was milky in that filter. I just want to be sure. Ooh. Ooh. Is it milky or is it just? I don't. It's got a, let me just re-dip it again. Eh, it ain't as bad. It's as not as bad. Nah, it's it's I was funny colored. I stick through it more than anything. Which we can top off the coolant. Ooh, it's it's a little, ain't it? Yeah. I mean, it's not clear oil. It's right. Let's top off the radiator, hook the fan back up, and kind of keep an eye that we're, you know, circulating, right. not losing water, and be sure we don't have a blown head gasket. So we went ahead and tried to button up the wiring up underneath the hood of this truck, if that's what you even want to call it. Uh, topped off the radiator with some fresh water, got us a bigger temporary tank that we've rigged up on the back of the truck, and shot a little air to these flat tires. Now we're just going to go ahead and try to drive the truck and hopefully it'll go in gear. As you guys can tell here, we've got our little air breather zip tied on there. This wiring on this truck is just, it's a mangled mess. There's really not a lot you can do other than just starting over fresh, but for right now, it should do the job of just cranking this truck up and being able to drive it down the road. Now, as you guys saw, the oil is a little questionable. It's starting to appear a little bit milky, and we're hoping that we don't have a bad head gasket, but at this point, we're just gonna have to crank it up and let it run a little bit longer. Now, when we go to drive this truck, I'm a little bit concerned of what might happen. Uh, they've got this windshield just rigged in with some little small clamps and some little sheet metal screws into what would have been the truck at some point in time. The rockers are just plumb gone here and the floor on this side, well, if we don't have brakes, which I'm sure we don't, I'll just have to stick my foot out of the bottom and use that to stop me. But I think at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and try to see if it goes in gear. Hopefully this transmission don't give us any issues with it being an automatic. If it does, we're probably not gonna be able to fix it. So crank it up, make sure it's not getting hot, see if it'll go in gear, and then make a decision of if we wanna trust actually trying to drive this thing down the road. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Cranks pretty easy, huh? Yeah, it's amazing how you'll, you'll go from not cranking at all to idling. It's key, yeah. Wow, sound like a choke just opened up some. Sounds smooth. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you're right, that thermostat just it ain't even warmed up none to open up. Let me see if it'll go in gear. Yeah. That's... Well, I don't know what to do about brakes. <laughs> uh, brake. Should we jack it up, maybe? Probably so. Let's go ahead and jack it up real quick. Go under that lace spring there. Oh, I guess I'll crawl in here. Somehow. <laughs> I guarantee you a short person draw this. A what? It almost feels like it could be brakes. All right, I'm gonna try it. Okay. And I'm gonna be ready to kill this. We got turning? Yep. No brakes then. Well, you got some kind of brake because it's stopping it. Is it? Yeah. Slowly, but it's stopping it. Neutral. 
They spinning still? No. That one's spinning. Cool. Let's let it down real quick. Good brakes. I start to apparently it's got pretty good front brakes at least. Wow. It's a keeper. I honestly can't tell if it's running smooth or not because this thing's so raggedy, it's shaking like crazy. I'm gonna try something, but I'm gonna be ready to kill it. I think the timing's off. It won't even turn a tire over. Wow. Uh-uh. Which, you know, honestly, with it having that rear axle, that, that extra rear axle, it's probably fighting itself. Yeah, it could be. I guess we're trying to. <laughs> let's just I see if it'll actually. Yeah, it. let's just actually see if it'll even just drive. If we can do that, that's a lot more than I thought earlier in the day. Right. <laughs> We got our battery strapped in here best we could. There ain't much to latch hold of. Death trap. Might be idled a little high now that we mess with that timing. It's already whistling, you're not going very fast. Long wheelbase. Yeah. Of course, one of the junkiest vehicles we worked on will actually have working brakes. This doesn't have a great turning radius. <laughs> Try to come back with everything you leave with. I just hope that spoiler's strong enough to keep the rear end on the ground. <laughs> Definitely should get some looks. Especially if the fender of the hood flies off. Ooh. She definitely ain't running right. She could be. I think that distributor's off just a little bit, but it could be them old plugs. We never replaced any of them. be wondering if they didn't even have that firing order wrong. I feel like we've got a dead miss. Or it could still be that head gasket. Ah, come on. Definitely still has some kinks to work out. I think I'm gonna try to make it back to the shop. We can figure this out a little better. Run 
running too good. It's like yeah. it's got a dead miss in it. Could be that plug. I don't know. I want to check the wiring and make sure that they didn't have the firing order off. Or maybe it is a bad head gasket. If we're losing compression that bad. I mean, right. it's gutless as can be. I hope there's not a lot of water in that oil. Uh, should be one, three, four, two on the firing order. Oh, it looks about the same to me. Yeah. So we've got one, three, three, four, yep, two. That's right. Do we want to crank it up and start pulling wires Pull to wire, see? Yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of get them semi-pulled so that yeah. it's not a fight. But. That'll kind of tell us which cylinder, maybe. Because we know we've got not, we shouldn't have any kind of fuel issues. We got fresh fuel, we got a new carburetor. I feel like we're getting good spark. It's going to be that stinking spark plug probably that we had to replace. Yeah. You can see it's got a dead mess in it. Yeah. That one didn't make no difference, did it? That one did. That one did. The front one, huh? Front one. Yeah. Let's pull that plug out and see. I don't know if that's the one that we replaced in there or not. I would say it wasn't doing anything that way. Yeah, it didn't. Didn't, didn't sound like it was doing anything. I don't yeah. know if that was it or not. It's a champion. I don't know if the other one's for her. No, the second one was the one we replaced. Want to just get a new set of plugs and put in there and kind of eliminate everything? I think so. Uh, Unless you want to check the compression in that real quick. That's what I was going to ask. You wanted to just quickly check the compression, but let's do that and see what it shows. That's going to be our issue. Uh -uh. I think it's the plugs. You want me to uh, take that plug and stick to the wire here and see if we're getting some? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Out. thing is it's liable to crank up. Well, I don't want to be holding just that. <laughs> Ready? Yep. No spark at all. None? No. Uh -uh. It's running just as good with the spark plug out as yeah. it is. <laughs> That's going to be our issue. Let's get some new plugs in it so we can roll that out. Well, guys, 
guys, I definitely say she's running on all four cylinders now. Would I call this thing a race truck? Well, let's just say I wouldn't use this for your getaway. And with that being said, that had to be the perfect name for this truck. We've never gone wrong with buying something sight unseen, but when we first laid eyes on this old truck, we really began to question things. But now that she's alive and running good under her own power, I couldn't be happier with her. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you on the next one.